Mega Marino. His name is Mega Marino. Flame Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Flame Blast and he is weak to Windstorm. Flame Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X to generate a large amount of thermal power. Flame Man is very punctual and he changes his oil three times a day. Flame Man only moves around by jumping high into the air and the distance of his jump is varied. In between jumps he has two attacks he can use. His first is to shoot three fireballs forward in a straight line. Flame Man's second and more dangerous attack is to utilize his Flame Blast technique. He plunges his buster into the ground and causes various pillars to fire to erupt in front of him. And of course there's also safe spots that you can stand during the pillars attack. Overall Flame Man can be tricky if he gives you some crazy RNG. For no damage loops against Flame Man, just try to stay away from him. He'll always try to jump near you, so be mindful of your spacing. Also, anytime that you're in an arena where there's oil, he can ignite the oil, which will one-hit KO you. Deal damage when he's shooting his fireballs, and try not to shoot the flame pillars. And if you ever have a water weapon, it's usually the weakness. So, extinguish the flame, man. Subscribe for more. Nightman from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Night Crusher, and he is weak to Yamato Spear. Nightman was reprogrammed by Mr. X to resemble a medieval knight with resistant armor. It's also said that Nightman's defeated a thousand robots in duels. Nightman's main gimmick is that he keeps a big shield in front of him most of the time while being a huge pain in the ass. He can move by jumping high in the air, and he does really big jumps from far away or does smaller jumps in a short distance. He can also just kind of walk you down with his shield like a bully. He also has a projectile attack with a flail. When he shoots it at Mega Man's position, it goes back to him. So to avoid Nightman, just always jump away from him, but don't lock yourself in a corner. Always be mindful of his jumps and jump over his mace. Overall, Nightman is one of the hardest bosses in the game and could be a huge bully that demands the player's respect. For no damage loops against Nightman, always try to shoot him on his way down from a jump or while his mace projectile is active. You can also jump up and shoot him in the back before he lands. For more information on bosses, you can simply watch my live streams in the day or watch my YouTube videos at night, man. Subscribe for more. Plant Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Plant Barrier and he is weak to Blizzard Attack. Plant Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X as a flower, which can be used as camouflage. He was originally created as a keeper of a botanical garden. Plant Man has a very simple and repetitive pattern. He starts by activating Plant Barrier, which is a shield of petals that protects him from all attacks. Plant Man then jumps a great distance in one direction, either towards Mega Man or away from him. He also bounces off walls and collides with them. As soon as he lands, Plant Man will throw his Plant Barrier forward in Mega Man's general direction, while standing in place. Once Plant Barrier leaves the screen, Plant Man will run towards Mega Man's position and repeat the whole pattern again. So to avoid Plant Man, just simply jump over his Plant Barrier and then wait for him and then jump over him. Overall, Plant Man is a simple fight and very straightforward. For no damage loops against Plant Man, wait for him to throw a shield and then you can get an average of two shots in before he equips the next one. Or three if you're greedy. Don't forget you can also shoot lemons in between the shield with precise shots or mashing. Just keep watching these tutorials and your skills will grow like a plant. And subscribe for more. Wind Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Windstorm and he is weak to Centaur Flash. Windman was stolen and reprogrammed by Mr. X to work in agriculture, helping in harvest. He's also a skilled cook, a martial artist, and enjoys kung fu movies. Windman has three attacks. His main attack is to try and make sucky sucky and deal contact damage. He can also attack by shooting two propellers, one up and one down, and they cross each other. He can also lift himself off the ground with jet engines and try to land on top of Mega Man. So to avoid Windman, just jump over his propeller projectiles and then slide away from his sucky sucky attack. Even if you don't have slide, you can walk away from the sucky sucky. When he moves in the air, stay underneath him and slide to the other side. Overall, Windman is a simple boss and you can take advantage of his sucky sucky and make some challenging fights with it. Sucky sucky. Sucky sucky. For no damage loops against Windman, shoot him while he's moving towards you, after his projectile shots, and during his sucky sucky. Focus his distance and projectile awareness. Once you master his loops, you'll feel as smooth as a dove in the wind. Man. Subscribe for more. Yamato Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Yamato Spear, and he's weak to Silver Tomahawk. Yamato Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X as a combat robot master who was modeled after a samurai warrior. He's also shy, bad with money, and collects swords. Yamato Man has two patterns. The first is to spin a spear in place, immediately launching a spearhead forward in a straight line. The second is to jump high in the air while spinning his spear, genuinely aiming it at Mega Man's general position. If he does one attack twice in a row, that means he's always going to do the other attack. So to avoid Yamato Man, jump over a spear, then jump over him. Overall, Yamato Man is pretty straightforward since he only has two attacks. He's as straight as a spear. 
For no damage loops against your model man, anticipate his attack, stay aware of his triple shot angles, and jump over his straight shot, all while doing damage. When he jumps in the air and shoots three spears at you, don't be afraid to pause buffer and then be able to see where they come from. Also, don't let him run you over. It's like getting hit by a potato pan, but it's your mato man. You get it? Potato pan? You mato man? Subscribe for more. Dr. Huawei, Wily Machine 6 from Mega Man 6. His weapon is blue orbs and he is weak to silver tomahawk. Dr. Huawei, Wily Machine 6 is a spike machine based on Wily Press from Mega Man 5 and also shows up in Mega Man 7. Dr. Huawei, Wily Machine 6 has three phases. Its first phase moves by jumping from one side to the other in a repetitive pattern. In between jumps, it'll fire three blue projectiles. These projectiles are orbs and launch one by one in a spread, high angle, middle angle, and low angle. While the second phase can jump shorter distances, target the middle of the screen, and the projectile counts reduced to just one. And for the final phase, Wily is in this capsule and disappears and reappears shooting four blue orbs from his body. Dr. Huawei. So to avoid Wily Machine, just be mindful of where he'll land and where his projectiles will go. Overall, Wily Machine 6 can be somewhat a troll. For no damage loops against Wily Machine 6, slide to the other side where Wily moves and shoot him while he's shooting you. For the final phase, just try to find a weapon that does most damage or can hit Wily in the air. This fight is certainly not willy-nilly. It's Wily Machine 6. Subscribe for more. God damn it, dude. Mega Marino. His name is Mega Marino.